So a barometer measures atmospheric pressure by comparing the force created by the atmosphere, which is what pressure is, it's a force per unit area, to the force of gravity. So to make a barometer, simple barometer, you take a container, an empty container, and you take a tube, and you fill that tube up with mercury, which isn't yellow, but let's just pretend it is. You fill it up all the way till it's totally full, and then you might put like a piece of paper over that or something, so when you tip it, it doesn't just spill out. <clears throat> and then you'd flip that over and put it upside down in this pool. So you would end up with you'd end up with this sitting here, this upside down tube. I'm really having trouble today. And so the mercury, which was filling up that tube, spills out and then flows down to the surface there. And as it spills out of this tube, it creates a vacuum in the top of the tube. So this measures their atmospheric pressure by comparing the force of the atmosphere the force of the air in the atmosphere to the force of gravity. So gravity <coughs> is pulling down on the mercury. Gravity is pulling down, but the air, the atmosphere, the particles in the air are hitting the surface of the mercury on the outside. And they're pushing the mercury back up the tube. So since the force of gravity is a constant, the distance that the mercury actually is inside of this tube depends really on the pressure of the air, which is the atmospheric pressure. So the distance the mercury is up in the tube equals the atmospheric pressure. And under normal atmospheric pressure, one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. If I have less air, or the air is colder, or, well, I wouldn't change the volume because the atmosphere has a roughly constant volume, but if I have less air because I'm at a higher altitude, or if I'm colder, very cold situation, then the air is moving with less speed, or if I have less of it, it's colliding less often, so the pressure created by the force of the air on the surface of the mercury is less. And then the barometer goes down. I have less. It's not going to be pushed up the tube as far if, if the pressure pushing it up is less than normal. Then gravity will, even though it's a constant amount, it'll pull it down more because the air isn't counterbalancing that and pushing it back up as much. So then a manometer is similar. <coughs> In a manometer, we might start with a U-shaped tube. And we might have this completely filled up with mercury.
and we might have an opening here that would be sealed off. So this would be closed. And this would actually be sealed here as well. So this actually, let me just fix this, this probably is not going to be totally filled with mercury. That side is probably going to be open, but then this side will be closed. So this would be set up so that when we open this, if we have a gas here, if the gas uh, sealed, then the mercury inside of this U-shaped tube, is it going to be level out like this on both ends? Like here. And here it will be basically at the same level. What? Closed. Gravity is pulling down on, even, on both sides, evenly on both sides. So gravity is not really a factor here because it's canceling itself out. That's why we have a U-shaped tube. So both sides are being pulled down the same amount by gravity. However, this side is open to the air. So air is getting in here and the air is pushing down. So if the gas is not open, the red gas is not open, this should be pushed up higher. It might be pushed up all the way here. But then when I open it up, now my gas is going to come in here and push the mercury back down. So that creates a situation where now if the pressure of the gas is greater than the pressure of the air, that would push this mercury up the other side. So the mercury would get pushed down by the gas here, pushing down on the surface, and it would force it up against the pressure of the air, assuming that the pressure of the gas was more than the pressure of the air. And so in that case, this difference gives you information about the pressure of the gas. So the pressure of the gas in that case would be equal to the pressure of the atmosphere plus the distance. All right, because if these two levels here came back down and this came back up and they're at the same level on both sides of the U shaped tube, that means the pressure of the gas is the same as the pressure of the air, right? Because they're both pushing down equally, which is why it's at the same level. So if it pushes down on this side and up on the other side though, that means the gas pressure is greater than the pressure of the air pushing down. And the difference in distance is the difference then between uh, the pressure of the gas and the pressure of the atmosphere. So a manometer is similar to a barometer. We're using the gas hitting on the surface of the mercury to tell us about the pressure of the gas. Just that in a manometer, instead of uh, comparing the distance of the mercury to the atmospheric pressure, we're using that to determine the pressure of some sample of the gas.